I'm Dr. J or Dr. Jegasoli. My patients call me Dr. J because it's easier. I just wanted to have a video to address Botox. What's all the hype about? This is a vial of Botox, this little thing. That's all it is. And there's so much conversation and so much on the internet and on TV about it. It's harmless. It's a harmless little bottle of liquid by itself. And we used to use it in the beginning when I first started practicing just to fix the lines on the forehead, on the sides of the eye, maybe on the nasal scrunch, a little bit on the frown line. But you know, nowadays we do so much more with it. If you go to an experienced, technically skilled Botox doctor like myself, you can definitely do so many better things with Botox. For example, I can lift the eyebrow in any shape or way you want, and that can change the whole look of your face. I can also lift sagging eyelids that way. We can also do nasal shaping. I can narrow your nose. I can lift the tip of your nose. Things that previously required plastic surgery, we can now do just with Botox. And then the other thing that I love to do is I can lift the whole jawline by injecting along the bottom of the jawline. Another thing, which is actually the most popular procedure for Botox in Asia, is we actually inject the, the muscle that gives you TMJ. It's called the masseter muscle, it's the chewing muscle. And that, as we get older, and particularly in certain ethnic groups, starts to get hypertrophic meaning. It starts to get enlarged with age, and it gives the whole face a kind of a square appearance. The Asians call it the square jaw. And what I can do is I can, with a little bit of Botox injected right into it, it doesn't feel hurt at all. There are no nerve endings there. It can actually reduce the bulk of it. It doesn't change the way you chew or swallow or anything like that, but it reduces the bulk of it and gives you a more elongated and oval or heart-shaped face. So that's a very pretty thing I can do. I can also shape the chin, make it less pebbly, and also make it a little elongated if you happen to have a weak chin. There's some amazing things we do with Botox that are not line chasing or line erasing. We're actually enhancing people's facial features for the future. And often when I do these things, I also have done a sneer, when someone sneers on one side or the other, and make that go away. And often when I do those kinds of form changing things where I change the, the muscle activity, it doesn't come back, it can be permanent. And that's a great thing too. Another wonderful use for advanced injectors of Botox is we can make scars look better because there is some activity on most scars where there's tension on it and it causes it to spread. If we reduce the muscular activity around a given scar when it's first forming, it can actually make the scar shrink and reduce by itself and then we can use lasers later to actually erase it. And one last thing I wanted to talk to you about. There are now four FDA approved brands of Botox. They all have the same active ingredient, but there are four different brands that are now FDA approved and it's very likely there are gonna be very many more in a very short period of time in the next few years. And I want you to know that most of them have the same active ingredient, as I said, and they're all mostly the same. So the difference is, is in the skill and technical injecting ability and experience of the injector that you get. So remember, it's not about the brand of botulinum toxin, which is the generic name for Botox, and the other brands are Xeomin, Dysport, and Juveau, and there's gonna be a few other brands now soon. All of those are the same active ingredient. The difference is, is in the skill of the injector. So go to the best possible injector, board-certified aesthetic physician that you can.